All right, everybody, hello and welcome. This is going to be a video that is kind of unlike the other things that are on my channel. Um, I don't really do too much like this, but I didn't have a lot of, uh, or I wasn't able to find a lot of information on this device, and I thought it was really cool, so I decided to make some myself. This right here is the Nano, uh, the Nano Flight, <laughs> the BitCraze, Crazy Flight 2.0. It is their second iteration of the what I like to call maker class in drones. It's a very light device. It weighs 27 grams, I believe, in its stock configuration, which is this. Four rotors, four blades, a very tiny battery pack. I do not know the actual size of the battery pack, but it gets about seven minutes of flight time in this default configuration and charges via micro USB. On the back you'll see a very very tiny on button. Oops, sorry. On the front it that is. And let me see if I can really really get in there for you. It's that thing right here. When you push it, there you go. Sorry, it was out of focus, but those, the green light on the right blinked five times, and that shows a successful post. If you give me a second, this will probably be in part of another video, but the virtual machine that we have connected is all part of this setup. Now everything that comes in the box is laid out right here. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see, but you get one spare motor and three extra of each type of blade, as well as some extra input-output pin risers. And those pin risers are used to also hold in the battery, as you can see. Maybe not very well, we'll zoom in again. Hmm. And it also comes with two extra legs. And the legs um, slip right onto these little mounts right here that are actually part of the PCB itself. And the motors slip right into the holes in the legs themselves. I believe, I believe that's everything that comes with this thing. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that I bought, not secondhand, but in the same drop. I bought this off of Mass Drop, um, that is used with it. And then this device, which I also bought off of Mass Drop in the same drop, which is a necessity if you want to fly this thing. I believe that there is a way out of the box to get it to just interface with in iPhone or Android application, but I did not do that. And if you want it to work with your computer, you're going to have to get this thingy along with some other type of controller. Like, for example, the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller works out of the box plug and play style, but I think you could map your keyboard to it. It just would not give you a very granular level of control, which you're going to want with this thing. I'll show it flying in a bit, but I want to show some of the accessories first. Thanks for watching, guys.